so uh and i think this weekend aren't they having the uh race cars going down so isn't that the ending coming up so uh someone else do i watch them no i never do uh but that doesn't mean i don't like uh hot rods uh in my days i used to go to green valley and uh 57 56 chevys and uh, do a little uh quarter mile racing on that but you know yeah i've had 409 engines 327 396 440s and you you name it i've had it you wouldn't believe how many cars i've acquired during my lifetime and you wouldn't believe it unless my parents were alive to verify that i told you the truth <clears throat> but to give you an idea and you don't have to believe but i'm going to lay it on you i've owned over 368 cars trucks as well cars and trucks hello to uchiha ryan david c and nomad wanderer hello everybody hello 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 and welcome so anybody have any cool plans for labor day i do memorial day i mean memorial day labor day the memorial day i do what is it pins i'm going to work in the pin room but uh, right now, I need some help from you guys because uh, uh, I have a couple of pins here that I, I've never heard of. And I bought these pins just like that because they reminded me of pins, especially this one, when I went to school with that uh, they were only used with cartridges. Both of them are. And this one here has a name I have never heard. And Mr. Announcer, what was that? Wherever? Wherever. Wherever on the nib. Made in the USA. And that's about all it has. Well, you can't see it. Let me see here. But uh, maybe that might help. Not a hell of a lot, but you know what the heck. So that's one that I need some feedback on if anybody knows and then here's one and it just says made in the usa and i've got a couple of more like these this is probably a, a yellow so but the reason why i got them they didn't come with any caps so i need some caps for them and i can't find any caps uh so but i'm really interested on information about these pins i have yet to find it but do i do use them yes and they ride extremely well for being as old they are they're either 50 or 60 vintage and i use them as a dip pin and they work real well so uh if anybody can elaborate on these two pins that would be really helpful and if need be send me an email uh because i'm really am wanting to learn more about these two pins hello to m duran and yes Uchiha, we are broadcasting from fort worth texas all right well as you all know the uh giveaway is on the way and uh it's going to end like i said prior to this uh on tuesday uh the 29th at 8 a.m and will be mailed out on Thursday, the 31st. So I can show you the box it's going to come in. It's going to be this box right here. And uh, it's, uh, the pin uh, case, again, Carl Overman made it. And uh, it's a really nice one. I like it, enjoy it, and I use it a lot. Uh, I believe it's an eight slot. So it's going to be full of pins, uh, preppies, gin house, bowers, whatever else I'm going to stick in there. And it's going to have some other cool stuff that I will not even mention. Because if you all keep up with me, I love giving. I wish I was a wealthy, rich person uh, because I would, everybody would be a winner and get stuff. But uh, I do the best I can with what i have but uh i've always been a giver all my life uh it's hard for me to receive something because i guess i'm just that kind of person that i always 
give and I don't receive that much. But when I do, I'm just overwhelmed because, hey, somebody sent me this. How cool is this? So, um, Mr. Announcer, you'd like to read this name? I'd like to give a special shout and a thank you to uh, John Gillette. John Gillette, short thing, is the chief executive officer at Luxury Brands. Here's how and why. I reached out to, uh, let me see, get the name right, Pinchelet, uh, because my one of my noodlers uh, that I had long, well, a while back, was it last year? Uh, stopped working and I tried to get a hold of noodlers and I did everything I needed to do and I was I got nowhere but I really do love the pen it's one of my favorite noodlers pens so I reached out to Pinchelet and he told me who to get in touch with so I did and I did send John the pen and within a week I had a brand new one in and just you know after a a long time trying to get the pin repaired, replaced, whatever needed. John took care of it ASAP. So that's a big plus in my book for somebody to to do this. And a special thank you for Pin Chalet for him reaching out and letting me know who to go to for this. So that's another Pinchelet. Thank you a lot for, for helping me out. Thanks. Hello to Michelle. Hi, Michelle. How's it going today? So anybody yet say any plans for tomorrow besides me? Uh, I will be doing some reviews, upcoming reviews soon on uh, dip pins. Uh, I, I did do the dip pens a couple of years ago, and then for whatever reason, somehow they all got thrown in the trash. I mean, I had a complete set of, I think, four or five different styles of dip pens. I don't know how many nibs and uh, inks uh, all gone. But anyway, I got back into them a few days ago, so I'm... Uh, going to start uh, doing some reviews on the dip pens. I do like them. Um, some dibs are better than others. So kind of stay and watch for that. Uchiha is going to go eat out tomorrow. Mm, where at? And uh, I have some upcoming uh, journal reviews that will be happening as well. And what else? Ah! I'll be doing an update on the House of the Rising Sun, Inc. On what I think about it. Um, I'm What I'm doing is I'm, I'm using some different pens, different nibs, uh, to see if I'm going to really like this ink. Um, I've already used three different pens, and I'm starting to like it because the... the like with a broad nib and, and a 1.0, 1.1, 1.5, you can get a, a richer, better color of this ink than on some medium nibs. They don't put it, put down a great deal of ink. It just depends your nib. Uh, but for, for, for inks, a nib can make a, a lot of difference. At least for me, it does when using this ink, like I'm using the Waterman Corinne, it's a medium uh, 18K gold nib. It's a nice pen, but when I use it on this ink, it just, the color was really dull, flat, boring. And so I inked up my Keras Custom medium nib, titanium nib, it just laid the ink down and it just brought the, the color alive. Okay, uh, Uchiha is going to eat at a place called Akbar's. 
uh, David is going to maybe go hiking at the Fort Worth Nature Center. Wow. Uh, Michelle doesn't care for dip nibs. Too scratchy for her. You're right, Michelle. And have you owned ever owned a quill pen? You know, yes, I have years ago. Those are, that's one of them that got thrown in the trash. Come think about it. Interesting. So, David, he's going to the where? Fort Worth Nature Center. Right. David, believe it or not, I used to go there all the time. Yep. I sure did. All the time. Uh, I love it out there. It's a great place to go. Uh, used to even camp out on there. So, yeah, have a great time. You know, I had a blast out there. I love it. I love going out to the boonies and, and, and hiking. That's my thing. Uh, if I was able to, I'd be out there right now. But uh, I'm not. So enjoy it. Remember me, Dave, when you go out there. It's an awesome place, man. A uh, great place for technical hiking, he says. And out there also, the Greer Island monster goat man was a big thing back in the 60s and i was in on that i know firsthand all about the goat man uh john bonham mike mike kinson we met at uh, a fellow's house once on forest park boulevard and they had a search party about 20 30 people i remember it clearly uh they all had rifles, sidearms, nets, cameras, and we all met at uh, Greer Island uh, at the pits. So, is there a goat man? No, there, really, there, there isn't. So, I thought I'd just touch on that a little bit. And then there was something I was going to say on the dip in inks uh somebody did email me and asked me could they use a dip ink with their fountain pen i said absolutely not don't do it you'll clog up your your nib and good luck to clean it so yeah you have your 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 dip pens are made for certain inks or dip inks uh like i'll show you a few here's one this is a real nice one bombay it's a black indian ink it's really a nice ink. That's one that's pretty cool. And there's one I'm having some difficult with. I should have got it out. Here it is. It's a it's a a deep blue. It's got the uh, what I want the glitter. The it's a real pretty blue, but uh, it's just not doing well with my dip pen but i will continue to work with it and see if i can see what the problem is so those are two things that i'm using at the moment for the dip pens and later i'll get some more i'll just play around with them you know i don't like scratchy nibs that's one of the major turnoffs for a dip pen for me but i'm using some nibs i don't have them with me right now they're being cleaned out so they're in the bathroom right now uh, soaking. Uh, I, I do use some nibs um, that uh, that aren't scratchy. They're more square on the tip, like a 1.1 or a 1.5 style nib that, that are pretty decent nibs. So those are better than the little pointed ones that hardly hold any ink and you have to continuously dip it in the ink. So that's a drag. Okay. The Chiha asks, have you had a Parker fountain pen? Yeah, they're good. Parker, Schaefer is another good one. Waterman is another good one. I, I really am starting to check out more of the vintage, but I'm going to be real careful when I do because I'm, I'm leery. Uh, the Waterman 92V, extremely one of the best fountain pens I own now. And uh, 
I was lucky to receive that as a gift from one of my viewers. Um, she just didn't use it a lot. So she sent it to me and uh, I'm still using it. I think I got it, I don't know, last month maybe. But uh, it stays inked up because it's a sweet nib on that sucker. It writes. It lays down the ink. It, it flicks. It does everything. It's just a cool fountain pen. Uh, hello to Jerry and JJ. And uh, Jerry, they're only related in that they both came out in the 60s. The Goat Man and the Egg Man. Oh! Well, in fact, didn't the Goat Man go steady with the Egg Man's sister? <laughs> have, have little eggs running around? Goat eggs. We'll call that, Jerry. How's that? The Goat Egg. Huh. That gives me a, a thought for a new t-shirt. Larry's Fountain pens with the gold eggs. That'll take some explaining. Yes. Have some fountain pens there with goats and eggs. and Or the walrus, he says. And have the walrus down there. And I can put in parentheses, this is Jerry's idea, not mine. So, so that. So, uh, I, I got my pen, my Pelican M1000 back from Mark Backus. And he, he uh, tuned up that nib for me, and I've been riding with it, and it's a uh, damn, it's a good, a good pen. Uh, so I'm glad I, I finally did that. So uh, I'm using a different ink in my uh, Sauce and Peppers uh, Mont Blanc. I'm using the Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red, and that really works well in it. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um uh, back to the house of the rising sun does anybody have that ink and and what's your comments about it do you like it do you think it's an ink that looks like other inks or close to other inks i would say yeah okay a suggestion on fountain pen ink that you can add salt to it and it will act more like a dip pink uh dip pen ink uh or salt you, yeah or you can add gum arabic or acacia and, or even honey that it would um, work for uh, as, as a dip pen ink. But how much of uh, these uh, different uh, substances? Yeah, would you even put in to, to create uh, the right... Uh, what I want to say, the right... Uh, Consistency. Yeah. Just yeah. a very little bit. What brand is yeah. the, the uh, House of the Rising Sun ink? Uh, that's at Popier. Popier Plain. Okay. Yeah, from New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Is it Popier? Yeah, that's one I'm yeah. thinking of. Yeah, Popier, right. And we have an agreement that Mac Mark, Mark Backus is great. The, the whole reason... Why I bought the bottle of ink because I, I don't buy bottles of ink unless I get a sample first because I don't want to be stuck with ink I don't like. It's because of the name that, uh, you know, that brought back memories when I was growing up with the song and identified with, so I bought it. So, yeah, I'm glad I bought it because of that. Uh, every time I look at the bottle, even without using it, I'll think of, 1964, Tina Gogo, the animals, the elites, the jays, you know, so, yeah. Let's see, a man named Paul Antonio is a scribe for the Queen. He is on Instagram and Facebook, and he uses Pelican 4001 as a dip ink. Oh, really? I will give it a try. That I do have. I do have 4001 dip ink. Good ink. Huh. And let's see, Michelle says she got her two Papier Plume inks. They seem to be rather unsaturated. Michelle, do, do you have the House of the Rising Sun ink? And welcome to Heza. Uh, uh, says, we hope we're having a nice day. He loves the videos and been watching every day since he found them. Cool. Thank you very much. Appreciate having you guys, all of y'all. And your uh, your Barks root beer icon makes me thirsty. Okay. Let's see. Michelle says, no, she has uh, Bayou Nights and Bootlegger's Sacrament because it's purple. 
Oh, okay, right. So, and what's your take on those, Michelle? Do you, do you like those? Do you recommend them? No or yay or... By you night sounds pretty cool. Reminds me of the Creedence Clearwater Revival song. Let's see. Back on the uh, substance, add-in substances, gum Arabic is available at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. They go there, both places. Uh, Michelle says, Bayou Nights could be darker. Uh, she uses it with a broad nib to make it come out right. And the uh, uh, bootlegger sacrament is dark enough. Could be more purple, but she does like it. And okay. yeah, Jerry, yes, Hires is good too. Yes, Hires is excellent, man. It kicks. Yep, Hires is really good. But back in our day, Jerry, they were even better than today's day. Oh, I know what I'm going to share with you guys. Yesterday, Mr. Announcer and I went to see a special movie. Can anybody guess what movie we went to see? Dun, 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 dun. What movie was it? Let me see. I'll give you a hint. But I won't tell you what it is. An idea. Let's see if you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, JJ got it. JJ got aha. And Steve. Hello, Steve. We need to meet uh, Dave C out there at the nature center and go mm -hmm. hiking with him. Let's see. Have you tried any of the unbranded aluminum Lamy F, uh, fountain pens found on eBay? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've done uh, a lot of videos on them, too. And how do they write? They write fine. Yep. Uh, in fact, I've showed this one many times before. Uh, here's just one. I have another one of the fake Lamy right here. I've shown this many times. I've got another one put up in a case, brand new, that uh, you can see. But uh, I've got other ones beside this. I've got several of them. What is the, how do you pronounce that word? Y urine? Urine. Urine. Urine? Urine. Urine. I've got a, a, about three of those uh, that look like Lamy's. So, yeah. Looks like a lot of pens, Chinese are making a, a, a lot of copies of different pens. Remind me later for updates. Okay. All right. So, I think they also have done the Parker. Uh, trying to think of some more that they've made quite a few. Do you remember the cost on that uh, lot, that Lama knockoff? The what? The cost. Yeah, I think I paid mm, between four and six dollars for it three years ago. And I've seen them a couple of years ago on eBay. I don't see them anymore. For like 30 or 40 bucks. Then I got a purple one. I think it's a purple one. In fact, let me just get that little sucker out. Jerry wants to find one to try out. Yeah, here it is. In fact, here's this one. It's still in the case. This is how it came. Fine nib. You can see that. Uh, in fact, this is the hero. And it has hero. But it looks just like the Lamy. Like you can see that very well. There's a clip. No, I, I guess I just have them for souvenirs. Shell, that's purple too.
if y'all are not aware of Michelle, she's on. She's she loves purple. A nice color, really a nice color. That's her color, purple. I'm still hoping somebody will watch this video and help me with these pins. I've just been trying to find information on these two little pins and I just can't find anything on them. They're driving me nuts. Heza is using uh, Diamine's Majestic Purple in his Twisby Echo. Who is? Heza. Okay. I don't think I've ever used that ink before. i show those two uh, pins again. Okay. Uh, there are the pins. He, he doesn't have caps for them. Yeah, they didn't come with caps at all. And Steve asks, have you ever mixed inks? No, I haven't. Why? Well, I, I don't know. I could have, but uh, never have. Let's see. Michelle would call those dip pens. JJ says they look like Schaefer No Nonsense from the 1980s. Yeah, I, I thought they were. You know, especially this one. Didn't It doesn't have a name on it. Uh, it just has on the nib... Uh, Stainless, uh, stainless, that's it, USA. And that is it on the nib. But uh, it writes really nicely. I really like the way it writes. And, uh, and only, well, yeah, I've never made this into an eyedropper. Uh, I don't plan on it. I'll just put a cartridge in there and be done with it. But uh, okay, he's pretty sure then that they are the Schaefer No Nonsense. This one, yeah. But well, what year do you think? Because I remember having a pen like this in school, junior high school, even elementary, back in the fifties. Mid to late 1980s, and they work well as eyedroppers. Okay, this looks older than the 80s, though. This looks like 60s. Uh, to has a well, I, I don't use fountain pens myself, um, but I enjoy looking at them. Uh, I think my my current favorite would be the um, no, Blanc. no the the airplane one the the uh, Saint was it Saint? yeah Mont Blanc the uh, Ant uh, Antoine de Antoine Saint, yeah Antoine de Saint Exupery yeah that's the Mont Blanc one yeah I think my my favorite would be the uh, Sergeant Pepper, then uh, from there would be the 149, then LeBron. And they had that beautiful blue one, remember that uh, James just got in at the pin meeting, he showed it. Mm -hmm. It's a good looking blue. I think it was a LeBron, he said. Beautiful blue. Let's see. Um, uh, on the Schaefer there, the that pen replaced the Schaefer student pens of the 50s to 80s. Uh, the Schaefer student had a pull-off metal cap. The no-nonsense had a plastic screw-on cap. Okay. Now this, I have put on a pull-on cap before. On both of them, I have put pull-on caps real quick. Uh, let me know, uh, da, 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 da. and I don't have them with me here. No, I don't have them, but I put on a, a Schaefer pull-on. 
these. Uh, now, this one would, would be probably look like a screw on for this one. And this one would be a pull on, pull off and on for this one. Screw on for this one, but not for this one. I because the threads are here for that one. But I'll go with Schaefer. I always thought this would be a Schaefer. The one he's talking about. Yeah. So one of them has threads and the other doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And I have another one around here somewhere I'm looking for. I'm going to pull them out and I'm going to play with them today a while. With my dip pens, I'm going to use those as dip pens too, and be done with it. Oh, uh, do what? Do we have any uh, pen pals on here that have pen pals and do letters? If so, how many? I'm one of them. I'm on two groups. I'm in my own pen pal group that I have started, and then I'm in somebody else's pen pal group. Okay, he says the threads would be the no-nonsense, the no-threads would be the Schaefer student. Okay, the threads would be the no-nonsense, mm -hmm. and this is the Schaefer. And this is the one that says wherever. Yeah, this is on the nib, remember? Mm -hmm. It has wherever on the nib made in USA. Uh, Michelle, the emoji was the little uh, uh, pen graphic that he used on his comment. Interesting. Yeah, I've never heard of this nib before, wherever. I've never heard of that one at all. Uh, Judge just says the nib units for those two work should be interchangeable. Now that we pull out. And as you can see on this nib, it's a, the plastic one. Let's see if I can get it right here. See it right there? Where this one is not. And I've got to find that other little sucker wherever I put him. But they are neat little pins. But anyway, I'll have to look that up and go from there. Was it Jerry that said that? Uh, JJ. JJ. Yeah, thanks, JJ. I'll go from there and, and uh, check that stuff out real quick today. I'm going nuts. Uh, that's why I've really never done a actual review on this because I was hoping to get some caps for these that uh, are the same making and not some off-brand so I can review them, but I haven't. That just says you did a review on a Blue Shaper student at one time. Yeah, I remember that one. And hello to Foghurst. Hey, Fog. So... Interesting. And so that's the latest on, on that one. Anybody have any new pens to share? I think mine was only the dip pens, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. On the ink mixing, uh, Steve mixes diamine ancient copper and diamine sunset orange uh, because he felt that the copper had too much brown and needed a little more orange in it. Love to see the outcome of that one. Uh, he uses a device called an ink miser ink shot ink well. Yeah, ink miser. I got that. Yeah. JJ's trying to smooth out some of his online pens uh, 
says that the uh, whatever they coat the nib with is makes it drag. Uh, David C got a 1911 standard and Omos Gentleman. Oh, cool! That's a cool, day. Did you, you get the, the newest 1911 that came out? Yeah, my, uh, some of my pins that I want to get is going to be the platinum music nib. Yeah, he says that that's an old style red one with a music nib. And, uh, the other one is going to be the sailor with the, uh, uh, it lays down quite a bit of ink. Naga, Nagatoga, Naga, how do you pronounce it? Nagatoga nib. And JJ is waiting on a, uh, a pilot CH912. So those are two on my list. I've got a list around here somewhere I keep, but uh, I'll get them eventually. I like some fine nibs, not all fine nibs, as long as they're not scratchy or dry. But I'm just not into a dry nib or definitely not into a scratchy nib. Somebody has asked me, do I make all my nibs extra wet? No. I, I leave them like they are. Not all. But a few I do make wetter. Uh, when his pilot, when JJ's pilot comes in, he's going to send it to Mark Backus and have it made into a 35 degree left foot oblique stub. Wow. Okay. Gezza wants to use a, wants to get a pilot E95, uh, but can't justify the cost for what he used. Mostly uses his for drawing and not writing. Okay. Didn't Kara have a 95? Oh, I don't know. I forgot who had one. Uh, peace shows. Anybody plan to go to upcoming peace shows? If so, which one? Yeah, we're waiting for the Dallas Pin show. Yes. Yeah, David C. says that she, he thinks it's Kara that has it. Yeah, it was good. Then I, yeah, I got to use it. I think you can pick up that pen off eBay for like 85, 90 bucks. Yeah, JJ says to get it from Japan for about 70 plus shipping. Michelle has two left oblique nibs. And Michelle, how do you like them? You're right-handed, aren't you? Uh, no, she's left-handed. Oh, she's left -handed. Let's see uh, uh, so there's uh, people are saying that uh, they think they're probably a 15 degree angle nib one is from Bacchus and the other is from Dan Smith yep Dan Smith is another great one yeah like him too but uh, when I last talked to Dan he was booked up in three months that was two weeks ago and it's a good thing that uh, I think Michelle told me about Mark Mark great guy Really is thorough, really good. In fact, I'll probably send him a, another pin Thursday of next week. Uh, 
uh, JJ says he only has done something, do something in person so it can be adjusted again right then if necessary. And uh, Michelle says Dan will probably be at the Colorado show. I guess we don't have any pin pals on here. Just me. Mm -hmm. I'm the only pin pal. Oh, we did. Oh, see. we did. I missed. Well, I missed a comment back there. Now that I remember, it, uh, someone was interested in pin pals, but they don't uh, don't do Facebook. Ah, oh, okay. Well, if you uh, want to be a pin pal, just uh, email me on my YouTube channel here, and we can get together. Who is it? Let me see if I can find out. Whoever the person was. See, last week I got in like eight pin pal letters. The week before that I got zero in. The week before that I got two in. I remember when I first started, uh, pin pal letters were coming in every week. That was been what doing it what three years, and then you know slowly but surely it just up and down. I can't find who it was. Well, whoever it was. Just you know, say so again. Say it again. Shout it out. And let's see. We have. Uh, hello to. Okay. here. Hello hello to Sean and Greasy Pete's. Welcome, guys. Sean, Greasy Pete. Pete's love. Michelle does have pen pals that she's waiting to hear from. Must be from. Uh, Uchi, uh, Chiha says you make good, uh, such good content. He'd watch you if it was just silence. Yeah, ask and you shall receive. Hey, next Sunday is going to be a treat because I'm going to have like a bunch of different people in one person. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be like dynamite. It's going to like blow your brains out, everybody. So we need to get a thousand people on here because I think I'm only going to do it once. Because <laughs> after you see it, I don't think you'll want to see it again. But it's cool. It will be cool. I don't know why I haven't done it before, but I'll do it. Okay, I found it. It was JJ who said that about the pen pals. Okay, JJ, hit me up. La 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 la. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I, you know, next Sunday I'm gonna do it. I will do it. I gotta think of some cool names. So, Mister Announcer, you're gonna have to help me. Okay. Uh, and what we'll do is, when I, it'd be like Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. So I'm gonna cover this screen up, and then I'll come out as a next as one person. Then I'll do it again, two and three and four. So you can just kind of like say, "What the hell is this? Oh no!" But uh, I think you're all gonna dig it. Yep. I hope. Oh, it's time. Is it time for a face? Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Watch. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard for me to shut up because, like, like I talk all day. Oh, I never did say the movie we went to say, did I? Uh, we didn't talk about it, no. But I didn't mention it, did yes. I? And nobody. No, they had several people guess it. Oh, they did guess it. Yes. Well, let's share it because not everybody got it. Yeah, we went to see Solo, the Star Wars story. Yay, Star Wars! Kick butt. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not going to spoil it for anybody. No, we never tell you what it's about. No, but I will spoil this. We said we had a bucket of popcorn, soda pops. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes I have a hot dog. Mm mm. You gotta have popcorn, right, when you go to the movies. 
Oh, uh, David, I will I will tell you this. There is a character who shows up that'll be quite a surprise. Uh, and I had to look up to find out why he was there. Uh, I think you'll probably see what I mean when you if you see it. So uh, and if, if you want the background explanation on it, let me know. Is that David C? Mm hmm. David C, it will rock your world. Now everything is coming close together. Hello, Versus. We uh, we do fountain pens here. Fountain pens, nibs, inks, papers, journals, notebooks, uh, anything to do with the world of fountain pens. In cases, messenger bag, backpacks, birds, dogs, cats, books, comics, faces, whatever. And it's silence. We have several votes for the popcorn at the theater. Does anybody do hot dogs? Am I the only hot dog freak here? I love hot dogs. I really love hot dogs. Hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs. Uh, for lunch today, I made quesadillas. Oh, and JJ asks, do you remember the uh, shaking cheese, the cheese dust that you shake on the popcorn that they, they used to have? Yes. Not no more. Uh, JJ likes the hot dogs if they're all beef. You know, we've got a couple of down uh, that do that down here, Michelle, that serve hot dogs. Hansa asks, do you cook a lot? Uh, when I'm in the mood, I do. Yep. I think today I'm going to make spaghetti. What do you think? I hope so. See there? Mm. Yep. Yes, Michelle, we uh, used to eat, actually go to Sam's Club and eat there. Uh, he would get a hot dog, and I'd get one of the pretzels at uh, Sam's Club. Oh, yes. Man, Sam's Club got the best damn hot dogs in the universe. Oh, we need to go there one day again and do that. God, that's a... <laughs> thank you for the reminder on that. Several more... Uh, votes for pretzels and hot dogs. Mm. I need I need a hot dog. You need a hot dog pen. I do need a hot dog pen. Who said that, JJ? No one. Just oh, me. Just you? Yeah, I do need a hot dog pen. That would be kind of cool. Ooh. Uh, Steve said, did you ever mix hot dogs and spaghetti together? He says it's good. No. I have to think on that one. I like hot dogs. I like spaghetti. I bet it would be good. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, M. Duran said, uh, made green chili cheese fries last night. Interesting. I like uh, uh, gravy and french fries. That's cool. Let's see. Uh, has, has they sell hot dogs with spaghetti sauce around there. Where's that? Uh, has a, are you in Canada? Uh, and to Uchiha, yes, he and I are roommates. Okay, yes, Heza is in Canada. So spaghetti sauce inside the hot dogs. Inside the hot dogs? Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, never heard of that one. Uh, what about disco fries? Never heard of that one. How about a good old-fashioned fried bologna sandwich? Mm -mm -mm. And how about a good old American peanut butter and jelly? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm getting hungry. Okay, disco fries, fries with brown gravy and cheese. Okay. I've, ha I've only had the regular white gravy. And I'm thinking of Dixie Cafe now. Mm -hmm. Lemon meringue pie. I want some gravy and fried biscuits or eggs. Oh. About uh, fried bologna with mayonnaise, potato crisps. All right, do that. Peanuts. <laughs> I 
I was going to ask you guys while we're on, how many of you have this pen? It's been around a while. I love it, love it, and love it. Cochrane All-American Lapis. Beautiful pen. Uh, Austin and Vicki Moore, hello. How are y'all doing? Vicki made it. Oh, somewhere, oh, where did I see that? Where did you go? Someone said they're a vegetarian then? Uh, v, uh, Nomad is a vegan. A veggie? Vegan. Oh, a vegan bar. Like a lot? Or all like that? Like that. Okay. Like uh, that. Let's see. Oh, FaceTime. You did re you recently did video on pins you love, but the 149 wasn't officially included. Yeah, that, that list was not his top favorite pins, but just a selection of his favorite pins. Yeah. On my next one, it'll be there. Hello to David L. In fact, I don't have any 149s inked up right now, but they're, they're due. I'll always love my 149s forever and ever and ever. Uh, Sean asks, do you have the Sailor King of Pins? Sure, I do. That's another kick butt fountain pen. Man, that pen screams. I love it. I really, really do. I've used the hell out of it. Really great pen. Let's see. Uh, down here at the moment, it's 96 outside. So that, that'll be fun for some of y'all. So let me tell you my routine here, what I'm doing right now. Okay. I'm a nature freak. I love nature. I love animals. Uh, I love summer, spring, fall. I like winter up to Christmas Day. And then I'm, I'm done with it. I love the snow. Uh, but we have a lot of squirrels, so I feed the squirrels. We have a, that, that special feed we get them. So the squirrels eat, and the blackbirds come in. One bluebird has come in. The doves have come in now. And Mr. and Miss Duck has come back and they're starting to hang out more at the house now mr and miss duck has come every year over here don't know why but the same two are always together very loving isn't that something so breakfast lunch and dinner they all get fed plus they get snacks and so you know the squirrels when they see the food out you just see him come down from the trees zoom and got a big old fat one his mouth is so full mm -hmm. It's cool to watch them, so and, and they get fresh water all the time. And uh, JJ, it's the uh, gray ones that we have outside. Uh, has a looks forward to using a Jin Hao 159 after seeing it on your list. Who is has a has where's Hesa? Where are you from? Was it Canada? Uh, you said Canada, yeah. You'll love it, you know. I do, I love them. You know, the 159 is what got me started on the 149, and I have a uh, Many 159s with the regular Jin Hao nib, with a Jin Hao broad nib. Can't really tell any difference. Uh, then I have uh, different size nibs, number six nibs in them. That's what I like about the 159s, 450s, and 750s. Uh, I can change out the number six nibs. Uh, Sean says... Uh He's been through several 149s, but none of them scream like the King of Pins. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. JJ says he had a hawk eating a squirrel yesterday. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. Poor squirrel.
And uh, uh, Steve is going to try the uh, spaghetti with hot dogs. Chop them up. I got to see if we have any hot dogs left. If so, I'm going to do that. If not, then I won't. A poor squirrel. Uh, Uchiha says it's the circle of life. It is, isn't it, though? And just think when a human dies and they're out there in the desert or wilderness, I guess the animals takes care of that. Yeah, that's what David L. says. He, they have a lot of rabbits this year, which means the coyotes are gone. JJ says he must have made the uh, squirrel fat and slow from feeding him too much. <laughs> we got a real fat one here. And rabbits eat his garden. Who? JJ. Okay, has a take care and glad to have you with us today. A good, a real good turnout today. Uh oh, my. My gadgets are telling me to stand up and walk. Ta -da. So let me stand up for a minute. Yes, I have two gadgets. Wonder why? One is a charger two. One is the Apple. Yay. So, oh, Sean says he's been to a few of the Mont Blanc boutiques there in New York City recently, and uh, none of his 149s are talking to him anymore. Oh, bad i've got the 14k 149 vintage and i've got the new one the 18 and that one that 14k vintage what a bad bad boy pin that one is sweet let's see jj said prefers the 146 uh Good pin. if he likes the 149s it's the uh ones before uh the vintage ones before dunhill took over when did he take over? Because the 149 vintage I have was in 1990. Okay, Duran, take care and have a good week, too. See you, Duran. That just says 1979, he thinks. Okay. And uh, thank you, Vicki. We enjoy making the videos. And she's expecting a Jin Hao 750. Rock on. She's not sending them? Yeah. 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 You, you should be getting it. Uh, let's see. Well, not Monday because no more. No mail on Monday. So you should get it Tuesday, I think. That purple one. Beautiful pen. Yeah. And some other stuff that are in it. That's not some inks, I think, too. Well, folks, it is 152, so that means I'm going to have to cut out because why? Well, I've got to do my bike ride exercise. Then I've got to have a snack. And then I've got to get busy in the pin room. I've got uh, these pins. I've got some dip pins I've got to get ready for review. Some journals, upcoming journals for review. Update on the House of the Rising Sun review. Um, okay, quick question for you. Do you prefer pin roll or pin case? Pin case. Okay, thank you, David L. We'll see you soon and uh, take care of Uchiha. I do have a pin roll that I do like a lot. Uh, but yeah, I prefer the, the pin case. And bye to Nomad. Okay, folks, time to M-I-C, K-E-Y, see you guys next week. Hey, have a great, safe Memorial Day. Don't get drunk. David C., stay off the brew. Be safe and careful tomorrow, David C., when you're on that nature hike out there. Uh, 
but we'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Take care, guys. Dun, 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 dun.